Welcome to Sparkling Silvers. I'm Anjana and I'm a grey hair blogger. My website is www.sparklingsilvers.com. It is everything and all about grey hair, helping women going grey. So if you have been following me on Instagram or have been watching my videos here on YouTube, you must be knowing that I have a head full of grey hair or silver hair, whatever you call it. And I love to do fun colors on my hair. Previously, I did a video where I show how to do a peekaboo hair color look and it got very good responses. So if you wish to watch that video, the link is given in the description box. This time, I will show how I achieved these two different looks with the help of three different colors. All of these are semi-permanent colors. So, oh yes, please watch the video till end because you will get tons of information on semi-permanent colors and how to use them on natural gray hair. So let's get started. Semi-permanent hair dyes coat the hair shafts instead of penetrating into the cortex so they are safe to use on natural gray hair. They generally last for a shorter time, usually about 8 to 12 washes. The duration of the color also depends on hair porosity and health. The higher the hair's porosity, quicker the color will fade away. If your hair is damaged or bleached, I would not suggest you to go for a semi-permanent color as it can penetrate deeper into the cortex and stain your grey hair permanently. You rather go for a temporary hair color. Each of us has a unique hair pattern. Mine is not all grey or white. It is darker on the hairline. It is naturally wavy and not so porous. So let's dive into the dyeing process now. I achieved this first look with the help of two colors. One is the punky colors in the shade cotton candy. It is vegan, cruelty free and also paraben free. And it washes out in around 35 washes. And the other one is the paradise in the shade Rudolphy blue. This is an Indian brand. It is also vegan, cruelty free and has non-toxic ingredients. With a punch of some herbal extracts like bringraj, amla, hibiscus, brahmi, aloe vera and almonds. I will link the product details in the description so you can buy it from there. Before applying the color, as a precautionary move, make sure to do a patch test 48 hours prior to the first use. This will help you figure out if you are allergic to that dye. Making sections help in even application of color. It is super important that you never overlap the same or a different color on your colored hair as there may be a possibility the colors may merge and give you a weird color or on fading may behave as a permanent color and may never wash out. I would suggest letting the current color wash out completely and then trying a different color so that semi-permanent dye may not stain your hair and last a lot longer. For applying the color at the back of my head, I prefer fingers than the brush. I thoroughly applied the color all over. I left the hair uncolored at the bottom back for the blue color as I have dark hair over there and the pink will not be much visible there. Now let's take the blue color and cover the remaining uncolored part of the hair strands. Apply it all over and blend thoroughly with the pink.
combing helps in spreading hair color evenly. I left the color on my hair for about 20 minutes and washed it with cold water. And this is how the color looks. It could have been brighter if I would have left it for about 30 minutes or more. But whatever, I like how it looks. It is different from what I did previously and it is beautiful. This is the second look. It's quite similar to the first one. The only difference is that I used a purple color along with the two colors I used in the previous look. The purple is also from the brand Paradise and for this look, I left the color on my hair for 30 minutes and the color came out to be more vivid this time. If you have natural grey hair, you always have to take the fading of hair colors into consideration. So I know that if I use purple, pink and blue colors on my hair, over time purple will fade into silver. The pinks fade out to be manageable color and still be pretty. The blue fades into a beautiful shade of grey as the base color of my hair is grey or white. But if you are in the middle of transition and have blonde hair, and you color your hair blue, once it fades, it looks blue green and then green. It's hard to avoid it but I have an easy trick to fix it. A purple shampoo will do the trick and put the green at bay. Just wash your blue hair with purple shampoo every time it starts to turn green. But don't leave it on for too long and don't use it every day. Hope you like the video. If you want to know more about Vibrant hair colors and how to use them on natural grey hair, I have given a link in the description box. So please check it out. Let me know in the comments box how creative you have been with your silver hair. See you soon. Bye.